All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922. Yo, you know what time it is. Um, I just uploaded Kinichi. Okay. This fucking chair. I hate this chair. It's so ridiculous. Fucking JoJo. Let's go. Oh man, this episode. Shit. Yeah, this episode was tight. Oh, by the way, that opening. O M G. Yo, that opening, that opening is like, that opening is like crack, meth, heroin, and weed rolled in to a tobacco, into a tobacco leaf, and you're smoking it. Though I, 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 I would not suggest doing that. <laughs> but yeah, that opening was, oh man, it was fantastic. The animation was, was ridiculous. Uh, the music. Now, it wasn't a, the, I, I, I kind of wanted the, the kind of roundabout thing. In other words, they would go ahead and, and get like, you know, an American song for the opening. But, but, the song was kind of rockish, heavy metal-ish, you know. And it got, it got this kind of, it got an 80s vibe. Yeah, it got an 80s vibe going on with that opening. So I thought I was kicking it. It was like, yo, fucking awesome. So the opening was great. Um, for episode two, for, for for showing you in episode two, and pretty much in this episode, we get introduced to the other stand user, um, uh, Green. You know the Green stand. I don't. I, I think no one. I don't think many people know who the the owner of the Green stand is, but um. We basically have um, Jotaro going up against um, Kakyoin. Kakyoin? Kak? Kak? Kakyoin? Can't even say his name. Noriyaki? In this episode. And yo, that, that, that this episode was tight. Yo, this episode was tight. Yo, he was going out the, the green stand. Yo, I remember that from the OVA. Oh man, it was he was rocking it. This was this was an awesome episode. So pretty much, yeah, you have Jotaro. He's going to school, you know, and uh, he encounters this guy, and you know the whole thing was he attacks him through the that painting he has, you know, and he fall and Joe Jotaro, you know, falls to the ground, and he kind of realizes what's going on, and that. that Yo, yo, the best scene in this episode, yo, was platinum, platinum, going, oh, no, 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 no. that was freaking amazing, I love that shit, I can't wait to see more of this, platinum, just platinum, going ham, going ham, on, um, that that stand, uh, uh, so I don't know if I, I forgot it was it's not soylent green, soylent green, it's something green. Basically, that stand it has the ability to um take over people's bodies and shit and use them as puppets and stuff. So that's pretty much what went down there, and it takes over the nurse's body, you know, and so on and so forth, and uh, we we're left with that. Remember, I, I remember watching the OVA, but. A few tidbits might not be as detailed, but he basically fights him, Dotaro. He saves the uh, nurse and beats the guy. And he's just, oh, 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 see, yo, just grab, you know, star platinum, just platinum, just beat the shit. He's like, oh, no, 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 Just just scored ham. That was, ah. Uh, um. I'm going to give this a four and a half out of five again. I, I want to give it a five out of five, but I won't wait for the good stuff. The good, when the good stuff, good episodes really come in, going to give it a high rate. But, yeah, that's pretty much what he did. Um, defeats the guy. I mean, his his um, ability with, with the, the stand is... Um, he can control people 
Uh, he can also control other people, and at the same time, he has this, like, this, this liquid on his hands and shit. Because, like I said, I haven't... It's been a while since it's in the OVA, so... A few details of, of his ability might be stricken from me. But, you know, he did that. Uh, Jotaro with, with Star Platinum just like this. And he just defeats... You know, it was just... Oh, man. It was just so intense. And he basically owns uh, Noriaki. Uh, it's hard to say his name. Noriaki. So I'm just going to Noriaki. Um, pretty much just owns him. Takes him out. And he basically takes him to... Yeah, his grandfather. Yeah. I just leave school. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Jotaro. Yo, Jotaro is the shit. He really is. He's the shit. Uh, it's like, it's nobody better. You know, it's just nobody better. It's nobody better than Jotar. Um, so he takes him there, home. You know how he could never get over uh, Jotaro's mother? She's like, yeah, she's like so lovey dovey over him. And I'm like, she's 40. And she's like, yeah, bye. And she he calls her a bitch. I'm like, if my if I he's in high school. If I called my mother a bitch, you know, she's just slapped the shit out of me. It's so ridiculous. So, you know, but he he comes back. Uh, he he just tells her, you know, you're eating better, you know. And he gives he shows um grandfather. Uh, the guy, and then he tells Jotaro there is a reason why, you know, this guy was after you. It's not of his own volition. And they reveal right here, he's got this thing, this parasite, yo, thing. Uh, I already know what, what entails of that. Uh, but yeah, basically that's how it, and that's how more or less the episode ends. Uh, like I said, four and a half out of five people. This is... This is Star Dust Crusaders, man. It's this, 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 these, this part of Joe in the JoJo Bizarre Adventure, um, part three is essentially I've only been um, accustomed in the JoJo Bizarre Adventure universe of part one, two, and three. I've never read. Or know of what is part four or five and so on and so forth. So, but this one of the first three, I find this one more. I want to say action packed. Not that part two and part one weren't, but this is more extreme. I find part three, like the shit that goes down later on. Oh, we also see Dio. Yo, Dio! Yo, my Dio! And he's just standing there, and he's basically saying how um, he's going to destroy all the Jonathan's, you know, descendants. Yo, it's fucking Dio, man. This guy, yo, he's a villain? I, I don't care. I love this guy. Yo, Dio? Brando. It's the man. That's all I can say. A uh, great episode, like I said. Can't wait until we get further in, because there's going to be so many more facets um, to these episodes. Because, like, um, you got this guy who just you were introduced, Noriki, um, in this episode. But there's going to be so many more different stands. And, I, and another thing about the intro, now there was no outro, but it was just credits. And he just had a music playing. So I, I was kind of upset about that. But the intro really... It didn't really spoil. It just showed you some characters that you might be seeing later on. But it wasn't really too much spoiling of uh, the arc. But still, great episode. Uh, the, the, the thumbnail, you're going to see the stand. You know? Yeah. Hey, this is another thing I have to say. The animation, spot on. 
spot on. I can already see the stands being done unbelievable in this anime. The stands are going to be animated so goddamn good that you can eat it off the freaking screen. It's like a feast for the eyes. And that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking from you know uh from these episodes so far. I'm just like you look at Star Platinum and you look at uh Nuriki's uh Nuriki can't see the life of me. Can't say that name. Noriki. No no Noriki. <laughs> Noriki. Uh you look at Noriki's uh stand and it, it was just a feast for the eyes. It's just unbelievable how they're doing these stands. So down the road, I can only imagine Dio's stand. How amazing that is gonna be. It is gonna be god damn beautiful. Beautiful. Like I said, a feast for the eyes. So, yeah. That's pretty much the story. I enjoyed this episode. Yo, JoJo! Fucking JoJo, man. I love this shit. It's like crack! <laughs> hey, I can say it's like crack. You might as well say it's like crack. Because when you got an episode like this, and down the road you get the other episodes, and you get these fights, it's crack. You need it. You need it. You need it. You just need it. So, yeah, that's pretty much the story. Bonkai 922. See you guys later. I'm probably going to upload this later today. Yeah. There's a lot to do on Saturday. Oh, Saturday's going to be so fucking busy. Oh my god. But the good news is, it seems like they might be subbing Data Live Season 2 earlier than I anticipated. So, maybe if I'm lucky, what I could do is I leave Kenichi for Saturdays now, and I do JoJo and Data Live on Friday. We'll see how that works, because I, I don't know how they're going to be doing it. It might, it might be that they sub Data Live Season 2 earlier. That will be great. That way, Saturday, all I have to review is, the, is Captain Earth and... Uh, Dragon R. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm Bonkai922. I will see you guys later. Jotaro, man. You're the f motherfucker. Jotaro, man. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't even do that. It's so hard to do. The oh, no, no, no. You know? It's awesome. I'll see you guys later. Peace.